I've been stranded on this island for 400 days just fishing, just fishing. We're hiding in the most satanic world. I created this nightmare myself. Try and find me, you bastards. Ladies and gentlemen, let me offer you a glimpse into the future. Do you remember playing as a child on the green and pleasant fields of England? All kinds of playground games. You know the games, of course, British Bulldog, British Tag, or as we'd of course call it, It, and of course the legendary British Hide and Seek. Well, let me tell you, the days of playing games with muddied knees, scratched elbows, and an impending sense of doom are numbered. Soon our youths will be teleported into Mark Zuckerberg's metaverse, and we'll never have to fear falling off of those spinny wheelie things ever again. Obviously, as a master exploiter, pro gamer, and quintessentially British soothsayer, I saw this coming. And so I have designed a brand new Hide and Seek TM. A patent pending, of course, which will become the new playground standard in a few years to come, naturally when I rule over Great Britain and re-expand the empire to annex Pluto. We've got to get to it before the Americans, of course. Now, some of you may have even taken part in my new cutting edge game earlier this year, so just how does this concept work? Well, it's simple. I hide myself inside a video game. It could be any video game, from any year, on any platform, with any server in any world inside that game. Your mission? Try to find me. Well, it might sound simple. In each game, you only get to see either my character's head or their viewpoint. And let me tell you, that's actually rather harder than you think. The longer the time goes on, the more hints I give out, just to make it a little easier on the other puny-brained contestants of new hide-and-seek TM. And because I like high stakes, the first one to touch me gets 1,000 US dollars. That way you know I'm serious about this brand new sport. Of course, in the future, new hide and seek TM will take place in the virtual world, which I would probably own, called Oaspiff. 100% not affiliated with the Oasis from Ready Player One. And of course, in the future, these clues will take years to figure out, and the winner will be awarded the keys to the world itself. Anyway, sit back, grab a nice cup of tea, and allow me to recount to you how new hide and seek took the world by storm. It all began with one fateful stream. Hello everyone, welcome to the video game. Welcome to your first hint as to where I am. There is a good chance someone can spot this game immediately. They're gonna be able to tell straight away what game I'm in. However, finding me in this game is going to be an absolute damn nightmare. <laughs> now, of course, if you don't recognize this game, don't worry, someone out there will. In fact, there's a very good chance someone out there will and will probably even uh, just throw out the spoiler. But of course, if you do know what this game is, you can just keep it to yourself and no one will ever be any the wiser. Now, um, of course, quite a few of you have, have got the right answer. You have got the right answer. That's right, it is Club Penguin 2. We're in Club Penguin 2 early access. I just, I love Club Penguin. What a game. But yes, you might notice immediately, there's a couple of sounds, there's a couple of audio cues where you can slightly work out a rough understanding of where I could be. Like, there's a there's a bit of bit of ocean noises going on, or maybe a beachy noise. Like, I don't know if I can hear any fish, but maybe there's fish? Who knows? Who knows? Am I in Scotland? I can confirm I am not in Scotland currently. Is that Gandalf? No, it's Randalf. Gandalf's hip cousin. But here's also the fun thing. This is what makes it so challenging challenging, ladies and gentlemen. Not only do people need to locate where I am inside the video game, they also have to locate what server I'm on, what region I'm in, and then they also have to try and work out what platform I'm on. But yes, you somehow have to locate me. I could be literally anywhere. Obviously, it wasn't long before players worked out which game I was hiding in. Well, it was literally seconds. My character had one of the most recognizable faces and graphic styles in the world, of course, if you've ever played this game before. However, Black Desert Online is an absolutely massive game. I mean, look at this map. It would literally take hours to walk across. So pretty early on, I decided to give out a little extra clue. Ooh, there's a hint. There's a hint, ladies and gentlemen. There's a hint for someone. Oh my goodness, there was a noise in the background there. Did everyone hear that noise? <laughs> That's a very important noise, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully someone heard it. Now, what did that noise sound like and what could that noise possibly mean? Who knows? Now, that bell ringing was a very powerful cue as it was specific to my server and consequently, anyone who heard the sound of the bell ring that just so happened to also be on the same server of me would instantaneously know which server I'm on. Now, they just have to try and find me. Uh, you know what, let's actually move this camera around a bit. Let's just, let's just, oh, look at that, look at that lovely blue sky up there, guys. Look at that lovely blue sky. Oh, it's so beautiful and sunny right now. Oh, look at how lovely and bright it is. I'm next to water. Ooh, maybe I am. Am I next to water? Let me double check. Let me just double check. Am I standing next to water? Am I? Am I? Is that, is that, is that water in the background there? <gasps> 
I think I can see water to my left, guys. I'm, I think I can see water to my left. This is crazy. Some people think I'm on an island. Some people think I'm on a coast. Some people, I haven't seen this, but I have seen one or two people thinking that I'm standing next to a big lake. Uh, there are quite a few big lakes in this game. In fact, there's also quite a few really nice rivers. I remember once playing this game, I crashed uh, a horse into a river and it died instantly, uh, which is a shame. But you know, that's just part of life with this game. You've got to be careful. You know, I've, sh I've shown you the sky. Let me show you the floor. Let me show you the floor, guys. I look very angry now. Oh my goodness, very angry. So that's the floor that I'm standing on. Who knows what kind of floor that actually is. I'm just gonna go left a bit. Yeah, you like that? You like that? Now, while people were getting closer, no one had yet actually cracked the code, so I decided it was time to give another suitably relevant and timely clue. Of course, you'll notice this reference is a bit dated, but don't worry, in the future, every news cycle will only last 4.3 seconds, so all references will be dated. Just like my sense of humor and fashion. <laughs> it's perfect. What's that? What is that there? Oh my goodness, what's that, guys? I can see I can see some kind of weird object there. What's that kind of object, guys? If someone guessed the object, I'll reveal exactly what the object is. Actually, wait. Okay, no, I've got an idea. You have to guess the object, and then you have to guess what the object is called. And if you can guess the name of the object, because I've named it something relatively topical, uh, I, I, will, I will rotate the camera around and you can see all the way to the left. Okay, someone's guessed ship. It is a ship. But what is the name of my ship in Black Desert Online? What is the name of my ship in Black Desert Online? If someone can crack it, I will rotate the camera around to the left. The Santa Maria? It is not the Santa Maria. It is not the HMS, uh, HMS Longship. Oh my goodness. Well done, chat. Well done. The name of the ship in the top left there is none other than the Evergreen, which is what I decided to name my boat. I renamed the boat yesterday because I was like, ah, I've got, I need a new name for my ship. But yes, the boat is the Evergreen, ladies and gentlemen, and she is a absolute beauty. Look at her. Here's your first hint ladies and gentlemen first hint we are northwest of Altinova, which is a city on the map. We are northwest of Altinova. That is your hint, but that is your first hint. We are northwest of it. Northwest. I can also say that because we're in a location where not many players frequent, um, it's not that there's zero traffic through this location, but not many players frequent this area unless they're here for a certain purpose. And so consequently, the area we're in is a great spot for fishing, really good spot for fishing. This is the most important hint for all of you. You're gonna need to be able to risk yourself getting wet, okay? That's all I have to say. You have to risk your character getting wet. That's all it takes. Make of that what you will. You know what? Time for me to turn around. Time for me to turn around and reveal. Because it is now one hour and four minutes in, we're starting to push the point where someone could maybe be making their way over to me. In which case, I'm going to now rotate. Is there a, is there a player? I don't see any players, guys. I don't see any players. No one's here yet. It's just me. It's just me. You know what? I'm, I'm pretty sure some of you guys have cracked the code a little bit. Let me just kind of waltz on up here. Not give too much away, but I'm just gonna waltz on up here and then jump up here. There we go. Just, just look at this lovely view. Look at this really nice view here, guys. Isn't this just a lovely view? Practically in Norway. <gasps> Connor, you're giving them to you're giving them hints, Connor. <gasps> Look at my boat. Look at the evergreen down there, looking absolutely beautiful and swanky. Now, what happens if I look to my left, guys? Because this is going to be a big hint. This is going to be a big hint. Are you ready for this? A rock. The floating rock, ladies and gentlemen. There's not many. This is this is the rock. This is Dwayne D Rock. Okay, I've named him Dwayne. Not many people have been here to see Dwayne, but I love Dwayne. He's my only friend here. Right. Here's an important thing. Okay. Here's an important hint, very important hint. In order to locate me, you need to get to Lima Island. Okay, there's a hint, there's a good hint. You need to get to Lima Island. Lima Island is a very important stretch in terms of actually locating me. After all of these clues, people started to hone in on me. Things were getting close and luckily my second in command, Ferryman Connor, was there to actually start ferrying people across. Okay, we have reports the first person has just located Connorborough and said hi to him. Connorborough is effectively a ferryman at this point who is going to be bringing the first person here. You know, let me let me give you guys a hint. I'm going to turn on, turn back the UI on. Since when did someone someone's managed to add me to a party? I've never seen that. Someone added me to a party, which means they might have cracked my location. I mean, they're very far away, but they've certainly got my location. I wasn't aware I'm in a party. Only available to party leader. Leave? Yes? <laughs> sure enough, it wasn't long before I was found. I was touched and I was $1,000 poorer. <gasps> look! Look! It's company! Ladies and gentlemen, we've been located! We've been rescued! I've been stranded on this island for 400 days just fishing.
fishing. Just fishing. Look, someone's made it. Someone's made it. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at him. Look at this man. He's made it. Oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, they did it. Oh, Adventure of Demarin. Well, Orphrin here. They made it. Well done. Oh my goodness, they did it. They did it. Well done. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. The location we are located is here. If you zoom out, we were located in the top left-hand corner of the map. In order to get to me, okay, this is the map of the game. This is the map of the game. The map for the game is huge. If you're a new player, you spawn in here. In order to make your way over to me uh, via boat, you have to first make your way over to Lima Island here, then make your way over to this dock here, then board one of these kind of ships here that sails all the way on over to Port Rat. And then once you get to Port Rat, you need to float your way around the islands and make your way here. That was how challenging we made it. It was east of Port Rat this whole time. It was uh, west of the salty crocodiles uh, in the sea monsters. And of course, it was in the habitat of the black rust giant mega fish. Congratulations to this wonderful adventurer who traveled all the way across the world just to get to me. And there you have it, success. New hide and seek TM not only works, but it's one of the most entertaining and engaging games in history. But of course we couldn't stop there. No, it was time to step it up. More difficult hiding places, stranger worlds, or so I thought. This time we decided to give out more clues, but also make them a little bit harder to get. We thought that tying the release of clues to a certain number of likes would slow down the hunt to find me. However, you lot really do like that like button, and I suppose I have also been slipping those mind controlling tea bags out to the public, which have been making all of you like videos instinctively. Perhaps I should have seen this coming. So perhaps we handed out slightly too many clues. Oh, and by the way, the thing in the corner, yes, that's me signing posters, which you can actually still purchase on my lovely merchandising store. Ooh, don't you just love that? Plug. Wait, did you guys hit 3,000 likes already? Guys, come on. You've got to, you've got to go slower. You've got to go slower, guys. Okay, fine, fine. Connor, distribute the next hint to them. Give them the hint. This is where we're hiding today, ladies and gentlemen. Can any of you guys guess where we are? Can you guess exactly what video game we're in? It's not Outriders, ladies and gentlemen. It's not Outriders. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. Um, today, I'm having to sign 500 posters in the background of this stream so that I can pay for this stream? Now, many of you are already noticing that this, this is looking a bit like a certain famous video game made by Todd Howard. And maybe, maybe it is. Or maybe this is the Chinese mobile knockoff version that I'm playing. <laughs> Where's the hint? The hint has been distributed. This is the thing with the hints, okay? We distribute hints as to kind of like give you advice as to where I could be. We've already given out free, okay? Um, the first hint was the cake is a lie. Someone managed to get that quite easy. Someone got that nice and easy. However, the hints themselves are hidden all over my platforms. Uh, they could be on uh, my YouTube channel. They could be maybe in like a YouTube community post. Maybe they could be on Twitter. Maybe they could be on Reddit. Who knows where they are? It's going to be incredible. I could be absolutely anywhere. Let me take a look. Let me take a look at this. You're telling me you've achieved 5,000 likes already? No one's even found me. No one's come No one's come into my, my domain. No one's here in my domain. Okay, right. So we have the next hint. I need to load up one of my social media accounts and I need to actually post something. This is incredible. This is how the scavenger hunt works because whilst someone could technically just immediately, instantaneously work out exactly where I am, there is a good chance they can't. If someone does, however, walk straight through that door, hats off to them. But the chances are you're going to need to crack a few codes before you're going to be ready for this one. Connor Brow saying next hint at 6,000 likes. Okay, okay, Connor Brow. I see. We're teasing them. We're giving them another hint this soon. And after you all absolutely rinsed me for clues. Oh my goodness. They did it! You cracked it! Oh my god, I am truth, my friend, you did it. That's gotta be a record, that's 20 minutes. That's 20 minutes. Oh my that goodness. Hello! Welcome, friend, how are you doing? Pretty oh. good, pretty good. I had a feeling it was VR chat. <laughs> Honestly, hats off to you for finding me, well done. I put so much work into this, look at this, look at this, it's me. It's me, Oblivion Man. Hello, it is I, Oblivion Man. Well done, I am truth, well done. You pat yourself on the back for your incredible plays there. Ah, uh, it took them 20 minutes. 20 minutes to narrow down my exact location, server and world within VR chat. That is madness. The last game took over an hour and a half, and this game, which we put so much more time into preparing,
during just 20 minutes. What did it take? Well, apparently it was as soon as I looked at a window and someone instantaneously knew exactly where I was, but also there was a group of about 15 individuals who had noticed the candle model in the corner and then narrowed down that it was VR chat and they were just hopping around worlds trying to find which one I was in. My goodness, VR chat players are terrifying. But of course I couldn't just end the stream there, only 20 minutes had gone by. So it was time to hide myself somewhere no one could ever find me. And I'm not moving a single goddamn muscle. Okay, you think you can screw me over by defeating my hide and seek challenge in just 20 minutes? Well, guess what? Joke's on you. Joke's on you, you speedy sausages. We're hiding in the most satanic world. I created this nightmare myself. Try and find me, you bastards. Ladies and gentlemen, let me show you the definition of hubris. Try and find me in this goddamn nightmare world. I wish you luck. I wish you luck, you cheeky sausages. Um. Oh my god, I swear to god. I swear to god, these people. These people. I hate you. I, I hate all of you. Which one of you found me first? Shun, well done, Shun. I detest your existence. How on earth did you do that, you evil? I put in largest map, looked at the sky, looked at the walls, looked at positioning of the lighting, and I just found you. Oh my god, Shun. Oh my god. God. Shun, you, you could at least give me a head start of maybe like two seconds on this. All right, you get five five hundred dollars. Well done, Shun. Congratulations. To be honest, you really have to hand it to Shun, who triangulated my location based on a sparse few details. What an incredible man, finding me in just three minutes and consequently setting a new record for brand new hide and seek TM. And of course, it caused me to take a long, hard look at what I created. Is it the destiny of new hide and seek TM to become a series of shorter and shorter scavenger hunts as participants become smarter and smarter? Do my team of unpaid interns and I need to become more and more devious with each passing week? Is new hide and seek TM not the game of the future I thought it would be? What good is an infinite and ever evolving metaverse if it can be traversed and figured out in less than three minutes? That's no better than the British standard 22 yard cricket pitch. Maybe, just maybe, we're better off playing in the fields. Oh, I'm sorry, old friend. Anyway, folks, in all honesty, we will probably be doing a few more of these as they're a really fun project and I'd like to actually push the boundaries even further to see just how far we can take it in terms of creating content and setting records and just generally being absolutely fantastic and spiffing. So let me know in the comment section if you'd be keen to see more of this and also what games you'd like to see us play hide and seek in next. Generally the sky's the limit and we've actually recently began talks with some very very jazzy companies that would consider effectively bankrolling the entire hide and seek tournaments and allowing us to to hand out incredible physical prizes. So, perhaps if there's enough enthusiasm in the comment section and the like button on this video, I'm sure I can convince a sponsor to allow us to create the greatest and grandest hide and seek experience the internet has ever seen. So, there you have it ladies and gentlemen, that's all for today. A massive thank you to each and every one of my amazing patrons whose names you see here on screen now and also, and of course, a huge thank you and congratulations to all of the wonderful winners of our hide and seek games. Generally, they were all really lovely people. I was able to have a few chats with them afterward and they were all really wonderful winners. The money generally couldn't have gone to a bunch of better sausages than they. Anyway, if you sat there wondering what video you'd like to watch next, look no further than this one on screen now, hand chosen by myself to be absolutely perfect for you.